West Virginia fans have been banging the drum since day one to see their team's helmets. Today's your day. Let's get it started. 1951 through 54, gold helmets with a dark center stripe. 55 to 57, players' numbers are added to the sides. 1958, the numbers are gone. 59, the Mountaineers switched to a white lid, blue center stripe with a thin yellow stripe on either side, and players' numbers. 1960, same helmet, no numbers. 61, gold helmets are back with the center stripe. 62, players' numbers return to the side. And in 63, players wear a 100 on the side to celebrate the state of West Virginia centennial. 64, back to players' numbers. 1965, WVU appears on the side of the helmet for the first time with the state of West Virginia under it in light blue. In 1966, it's gone as the team switches back to the white helmets, gold center stripe with blue trim. It's worn through 1969. 1970, this is the look. White helmet with a solid blue center stripe and notice the gold trim on the logo and West Virginia border. 1971, that gold trim is gone off the logo and this is the look through 72. 73, same logo, old gold helmet. This look lasted through 1978. 1979, same logo on a solid white helmet and blue face mask. All right, this is where everything changes for West Virginia. They had not done a lot of winning since Bobby Bowden had left campus after the 75 season to go to Tallahassee. Four straight losing seasons. So they hire a new head coach, Don Nealon. One of his first orders of business, we need a new helmet. As he was breaking down game film, he goes, I can't tell our team from the others with this white helmet. And by the way, if our school colors are gold and blue, then that should be the color of the helmet. So he goes to Mike Karen, the equipment manager, and tells him, listen, I want a blue helmet with a gold WV on the side of it. Great. Only problem is neither one of these guys can draw. That's where John Boyd Martin comes in. He was the brother of West Virginia athletic director Dick Martin and was a tremendous artist and graphic designer. He'd done work for Major League Baseball and the NBA. Neil and Martin ask him to come up with something. His inspiration? The mountains of West Virginia. He started sketching some ideas, and in a few days after toying with it, he had it. West Virginia's new logo, the Flying WV, was born. On September 6, 1980, the Mountaineers rolled out the new look against the Cincinnati Bearcats. This was the helmet look from 1980 through 2012. In 2013, the paint was switched from glossy to matte, and this has been a staple for the program ever since. They have rolled out alternates starting in 2010. A gray lid with a gold and blue center striping and a thick gold border on the logo. This was used for two games that year. The gray helmet returned in 2012 with three different looks. A thinner gold border on the logo for a game against Maryland. No center stripe and a gold logo against Texas Tech. And the center striping with gold logo against TCU. In 2013, the team rolled out the first white helmet since 1979 with a blue center stripe and logo. This was also worn without a center stripe for various games through 2021 and was used once in 2014 with a blue face mask instead of white. Also in 2013, a gold helmet with a blue logo, and this is still an option. They also rolled out this throwback used in 2013 and 14 with a blue face mask and for a game in 2015 and 2018 with a white face mask. In 2016, the Mountaineers wore this helmet against Missouri to celebrate 125 years of Mountaineers football. For two games in 2017, West Virginia wore blue helmets with a white logo, no center stripe. That same year against Kansas State, they wore a white helmet with an American flag design on the WV to salute the troops. In 2019, 20, 22, and 23, the look was done on a blue helmet with the state of West Virginia covered by the American flag design. In 2021, West Virginia played with the look by putting it on a white helmet with the patriotic design on the left and the WV in blue on the right. In 2022, West Virginia rolled out their country roads look for three games. The center stripe actually had a road map showing part of West Virginia in it. 2023, gave us two new looks, a Country Roads alternate in blue with twin gold center stripes and a white helmet that resembles the Country Roads look, but with no striping. All right, comment. What team do you want to see next? And follow Hooked on Helmets so you don't miss it.